am their escape plan for the zombie apocalypse. Maybe it's because I grow organic food or no one else to do it. I was going to right size into a tail with the protagonist trapped in a root salary in mason jars of candy striped beets, pelting Italian zombie grandmothers with tomatoes and potato cannons. <laughs> Seriously though, is that really how you think this is going to go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even Romero will tell you it's not really about the zombies, it's about a fatalistic global change and how people deal or fail in the end times. What if we are living through reenactment into the book of revelations? What if the end times are in a sudden change in state, but a slow and gradual decline drawn and quartered by the four horsemen? War, conquest, famine, death. What if this is the way the world ends? Not with a bang, but with a whimper. Then we, we are the walking dead, walking wounded, walking in dead men's shoes, riding a dark horse into the day of reckoning with no driver at the wheel. We are dead to the world, the dead of night, but we wake from the dead to this sight, Vancouver. Is riding Calgary, is flooding Edmonton, is excavating half the earth. The prairies are full of genetically modified Monsanto, but northern Canada is starving. The best minerals have been mined. The East Coast has lost her heritage. Yeah. And I half expect Rob Ford supporters to rise on that and sign on the downhill. Yeah. July 22nd, 2013, a lake formed over the North Pole, the day the climate changed. And we have come to terms with this. I tell people I grow organic food because it's holistic or fulfilling, and those things are true. But I expect to put these skills to use. In my lifetime, I expect to be running and surviving. I have a plan, though. I have a belt with a bicycle and a truck that runs on biodiesel. I have property up north of Sea Bay where the food grows. Yep. Yes, that's an attitude to generate a love no. of icicles. What about you? What will you do the day the world ends? Do you know how far you can drive on a single tank of gas? Can you navigate without the bitch-friendly voice of your baby GPS? What even matter when you get there and realize what you were up? Against. What will you do if the sun never rises tomorrow? Okay. If the flood lasts longer than your cell phone battery and 140 oh. characters isn't enough to list the dead? You can't yeah. Instagram disaster yeah. or text distress. You can only cry real tears of resigned confession. You will learn that oyster mushrooms eat oil and lentils will sprout in the dark. But will you carry your vegan backpack to the bleak bonfire where the only thing left to eat is the bone skinny deer who have sharpened their teeth? Yep. And when you come face to face with a stranger down the end of a barrel over the last barrel of trout, won't that be a fine kettle of fish? Will you be debating the morality and sanitary nature of retaining your sanity and sustenance? Either way, you're dead meat, dead to the world, dead on your feet. So you best be formed a plan of your own, because the only way you'll be to ride with me 